name Ryan Shore, and today I'll be talking about my March Brain wrap up. So March was a good rain month for me. I found a, a few good books that I've read during a month of March. I've read a total of six books, and I still think it's a good amount for me at least because I know that usually when I read books, I read between five to twelve books a month, but I still think it or at least 4 to 12 books a month, but I still think I've still read a decent a good amount of books, but yeah, let's talk about the books that I've read in March. So the first book that I've read in March is Crooked House by Agatha Christie. This is about a, a family that is moving into um, a house and then someone got murdered and the murderer is roaming around this mysterious crooked house and I really enjoyed this one. I know that I didn't know it turned into a movie until I saw that little sticker that's stuck on the cover for some reason, but I really enjoyed it. I thought it was a really quick read. I think that it was, it's like not one of my favorites from Agatha Christie, but I still really liked um, the books that I've read from her, and I do hope to read more books of hers in the future, and yeah, I haven't read a lot of her standalone mysteries, but I know the only one that I've read that I can think of is, um, and then there were none that's the only one that I could think of, yeah, it's like right there on the shelves. But I still really enjoyed this and I give this four stars. And the next book that I've read in, in March is Her Royal Highness by uh, Rachel Hawkins. This is the second book in the Royals duology. I, I don't know what it's called, but I know the first book is Prince Charming, but they're companion novels, so you don't need to read Prince Charming in order to read this one. This is basically about... A girl who is about to go to college and she finds out that her roommate's a princess and and then they, of course they form a, a relationship and I really enjoy this one as well. I really like the characters and I really liked the uh, college perspective and yeah and I don't I didn't enjoy it as much as um, Prince Charming but I still really enjoyed it. I really like the characters. I really like the dynamics in the story and yeah I give this one four stars. <laughs> And the next book that I've read in March is I don't own it, I don't have it with me because it was a library book, which is Suddenly in a Murder by Lauren Munoz uh, or Munoz. I, I'm sorry if I butchered the author's name. I listened to that on audiobook. I kind of listened to it, half listened to the audiobook and read it physically. And oh my gosh, it's so it's really good. It's basically about it's like a why a knives out kind of book, but it's about a a girl who goes to a, a um, like a murder mystery party and then someone ended up bringing up to a party and actually murdered someone and the, our main character was accused of that. So you basically, it's basically like you're trying to figure out who the murderer is and boy this book I like listening to on audiobook and reading it physically it has made me really enjoy it. It kind of made me not want to put it down like when I'm like done listening to on audiobook I kind of went into reading it physically and oh my gosh the twists and turns and trying to figure out who did it is just so mind-blowing and I'm just really enjoyed that I really like like I couldn't put it down like I said and I and I've read a lot of like way mysteries in the past I mean I really en enjoy this one and I think if anybody wants to read a way mystery like if they're trying to get back into like if they're new to mystery or they're uh, going back into mystery after not reading them for a while I think this is definitely one of the ones that I would recommend and boy the the twists and turns have it's just really shocking um, whenever I turn the page I just couldn't put it down it was it was it was really good and yeah I give this one also four stars and the next book that I read in March is The Wayne Date by Jasmine Galori. I'm sorry if I butchered the author's name, but this is basically about a woman who just met a man who asks her to be his Wayne Date for his ex's Wayne. And of course, there's going to be a lot of drama. And he and she and they just met in the elevator. And he was like, Would you like to be my fake, di my fake girlfriend? And of course, she agrees. And then, of course, a lot of stuff happens. Um, at the way and after the way and all that and I really enjoy this one I know I've watched a movie called the Wayne date and it's not the same as the 
the novel here, but I really like the characters. I really like Alexa. I really like Drew, and I just really, I really enjoyed it, and I just haven't read a lot of uh, books that takes place in weddings, and I know that I have a few people and uh, uh, a few of my relatives are getting married soon. Like, I have like three weddings to go to this year, but I just really like reading about weddings because I know everybody's has different experiences when it comes to weddings and and I just felt a little awkward that he was um, invited to his ex's wedding and I know that like the feelings were mutual and it was a mutual breakup and all that but it was just I just I just it just it was just very awkward in my opinion but overall I still really enjoy the story I still love the two main characters and yeah I don't know why this book feels dusty for some reason but but yeah this was a four star read for me and the next book that, I, that I've read in March is Six, Six Chrism Cranes by Elizabeth, uh, Elizabeth Lim. Oh my gosh, my my brain today. And, and this is basically about a girl who's a um, princess of a land and then she discovers that her stepmother is a evil sorceress and turned her uh, brothers into cranes and cursed her to not say anything uh, to reveal her stepmother's secrets and oh my gosh I just I love this book so much I love the characters I really love the sibling relationship in here and I just love the world and oh my gosh I just couldn't put it down I listened to this on iBook and I also read half of it physically and I just I couldn't put it down I love I love the characters so much I really love the world like I said and I love the sibling relationship in here and of course our main character has six brothers so yeah they were cursed to turn into cranes and I just love Elizabeth Lem's writing. I love the characters that she created and I can't wait to read the sequel to this because I, I really want to know what happens next and I found out that her Radiant Curse is takes place in the same world as this. Uh, that came out last year and I'm like now it got me more curious so yeah I this is definitely one of my favorite books of the year so far. I just couldn't put it down. I love the characters. I love the world and I probably will repeat myself so many times in this video but yeah I really and if you couldn't tell I, this was a five star read for me because I love this so much. And the last book that I've read in March is Reaper of Souls by Raina Barron. This is a sequel to um, Kingdom of Souls which is uh, if you haven't read the first book the first book's about a girl who is the only member of her family who doesn't have any powers and then she makes a deal with a a devil character to borrow some uh, Borrow some magic and a cost of her life. That was the basic premise of the first book and the second book. I did enjoy it. I just I felt a little confused at times because I know that if I don't, I don't actually don't remember if there was a d different character's perspective like it, we do in this one with the first book. That one I'm very puzzled about and I'm just really wondering what uh, what was I was like I did remember some parts of the first book before reading this but I thought I would remember some of it. I did remember some parts but then some parts I'm like what the heck just happened? So I'm just I really en I I enjoy this but not as much as the first book. I thought like the different characters perspectives was very uh, was was good. I just felt like there were some things in the book that I'm like what just happened and why why is this happening kind of feeling as I was reading this. But I still enjoy this. I'm planning on reading the... I think that the third book is the last book, so it's a whole trilogy if I remember correctly, but I'm really hoping to get to that even though I have so many sequels on my TBR. It's crazy at this point, but yeah, I, I still enjoy this, but not as much as the first book, unfortunately, but I do hope the third book will make it um, uh, an all... Uh, a fantastic overall wrap up of this series is what I'm trying to say but either way this was a four star read for me. So that's all for the books that I've read in March. If you enjoyed this video give me a thumbs up and comment down below what books that you've read in March or if you found a new favorite book of a year so far this year let me also let me know in the comments down below and if you haven't already click the subscribe button and click the bell icon so you know if I ever post new videos. Also you can follow me on social media like Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and Goodreach which all links will be down below for you guys. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in my next video. Bye!